Welcome to a short video on conducting a keyword search in the CINAHL database. Searching the literature usually involves these six steps. We will briefly cover steps two to six. To develop a search strategy, we divide our topic into concepts and choose effective keywords. In our example, we define our keywords, psychosocial, post, and bariatric patients. Then, we create a list of, of related keywords or synonyms. Two great tools to help us brainstorm are the MeSH database and CINAHL headings. These tools are not research databases but a kind of thesauri for the biomedical sciences. The next two slides will show how we can access the MeSH database. To browse for our keywords in the MeSH database, we go to the PubMed database and select MeSH from the drop-down menu box. After we type our keyword, bariatrics, we believe that bariatrics may be a better keyword to use than the phrase, bariatric patient. This helped us choose potential keywords we can use to search in other databases. Once we have selected our keywords, we connect them with operators N and OR to form a search a search strategy. The N operator connects different keywords. The OR operator connects variations of a keyword. To expand our keyword search, we are also applying an asterisk, a symbol added at the stem of a word to search for related variations of the word. Now that we have our search strategy, we can start searching different databases. To do this, we go to the University of Akron Library's website. We click on the subject guides link and look for the nursing research guide. On the nursing research guide, we select article databases tab. This will direct us to the CINAHL database. On the CINAHL database, we recommend going to the choose databases link to search multiple databases at one time. Mark the select deselect all box to search all databases and click the OK button. Then we type the keywords in the search boxes. We start by typing the keyword, bariatric and the asterisk symbol. We type another keyword and its related terms using the operator OR. In the third box, we type the third keyword, post, and its related terms using the operator OR. We go to the search button to run the search. Our search retrieved over 3000 citations. First, we scan the search results, and we briefly look for possible related keywords from the literature for future searches. We recommend applying limiters to narrow the search results, after scanning the search results only. This will give us a wide scope of the literature. As we retrieved a high number of citations, we scroll down the page to narrow the search results. We look for limiters and other database options. An easy way to narrow our search results, is to limit to English language publications. Another way to narrow our search is to limit by the database's recommended subject headings. Sometimes these headings are highly relevant and can lead us to more precise search results. In this example, we click on the show more link to see the subject headings from the subject, thesaurus term. Keep in mind that platforms and databases are each different, and therefore, provide different options and limiters. In our example for psychosocial experience, the recommended subject heading, psychology may direct us to related literature. The search results were reducted by applying the recommended limiters. We can go back and modify our search by going to the search history link and applying other limiters, if necessary. Thank you for viewing this short presentation. Please contact Marilia for questions or concerns. Happy searching!